So my name is Dr. Almondri. I'm a medical oncologist in the Division of Melanoma and Skin Cancer at Inovashar Cancer Institute in Fairfax, Virginia, and just outside of Washington, D.C. I'm also an assistant professor of uh, medical education at University of Virginia, Inova campus. So our work focuses on the first interim analysis of the implementation of our comprehensive psychosocial oncology curriculum for hematology oncology fellows. First implemented in 2022, and we're here to present our first interim analysis at 2023. The Artful Oncology curriculum is really based around four key pillars, and that are monthly didactics for our hematology oncology fellows with embedded micro skill development around how to support patients, a bi monthly narrative medicine reflective seminar where we look at evocative works of uh, short stories, essays articles, poems, and podcasts that really reflect the clinician experience in supporting patients with significant psychosocial distress. Uh, we also uh, perform quarterly communication skills training with a geriatrics and palliative care trained communication skills facilitator. Finally, we embed our fellows in longitudinal patient support groups as co-facilitators so that they understand the survivorship experience of patients with cancer along the continuum of their hematology oncology um, training experience. And so we highlight that this is the first published um, curriculum focusing on American Psychosocial Oncology Society curriculum content domains as published in 2022. We also note that at our first interim analysis in 2023, we saw that our didactics were rated as highly relevant, actionable, and would recommend these sessions to others by our fellows with an average on a five-point Likert scale that exceeded 4.5 on all domains. Uh, our fellows also note that uh, the communication skills training improved their self-evaluated communication skills training proficiencies coming from a composite average of 4.4 in 2022 up to 7.4 with improvements in across all major domains. The curriculum also showed that uh, there were improvements in psychosocial attitudes towards patient care as measured by the, psycho by the physician belief scale. Limitations of our study include the small number of fellows. This is a new fellowship program with currently six fellows to date, uh, making statistical analysis infeasible the, uh, this is also a single center uh, study design with some unique cancer center resources where we do our work in Fairfax. And our final limitation is that this is a very early or short-term follow-up on this curriculum with our first year of full implementation. However, data collection is ongoing with additional metrics being added throughout the um, continued implementation of this curriculum. So we feel very strongly that this is uh, an ambitious and exciting uh, attempt at supporting our fellows and learning about this really critical part of patient care. We know that psychosocial distress affects up to 46% of patients with uh, advanced cancers and can be linked to uh, not only increased rates of depression and anxiety, but also uh, all-cause mortality, increased uh, length of stay in the hospital, as well as increased expenditures uh, and cost of care. So we are very pleased with these interim analysis and we look forward to the next, uh, or, or the continued implementation of this curriculum and continued um, uh, data collection of our curriculum. We thank the uh, Scientific Committee of ASCO for allowing us to present this year and we thank all of our supporters in the development of this curriculum, which is very much a uh, group effort. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.